Welcome to my channel Swiftlearn. In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform crude operation in C Sharp Windows Form application with SQL Server using stored procedure. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. Now I'm gonna create a new project. To create a new project, go to the file and new project. Okay. Select Windows Form in C Sharp and select the directory where I wanna create this application. In the D drive, name the application. Application name is crude underscore sp underscore tutorial in this tutorial i will show how to perform crude operation using stored process in sql okay now i'm going to design this form with the label text box radio button and button control with grid view okay now add a level control from the toolbox just to drag the level control and drop it into this form application okay now in the property window just change the text text is in C sharp using stored procedure okay now change the font size font size is 18 and uh, for color select the for color control light link now Change the back color of this form, select form, windows form and select the color, back color. Yes, but it's not looking perfect with the white color, font color, so change the color. Yes, now this is looking nice. And I'm gonna add level, add level control for employee ID. Okay, I just copy paste. And this is font size is 12 and uh, font bold true the text text is employee ID so write employee ID okay now add for more level control for employee name address city age sex and date of birth okay now second one for employee name this one for employee city employee is and sex and last one for joining date okay and this one for contact okay now go to the toolbox again and add text box <coughs> Just drag the text box and drop it in the Windows form. Change the font size. Font size is 10. Yes. It's done now. Just copy this text box. This is text box 1 and this one for employee name. And this one text box 3 for says. And text box 4 for contact. And now employee city for employee city i'm just adding a drop uh, combo box control just drag the combo box yes and this font size also 10 and uh, now sex sex for add radio button for sex this is the radio button one font size is 10 font bold true and text is mail okay now just copy this ready button and paste this one for female sex there are two types of sex male and female so okay now change the font color font color is control light light now add a date and picker control for joining date. Just drag the date and picker control. Yes. Now change the font size and format. Font size is 10 and format long to short. Short format. Date format short. Yes. Now 
add button control just drag the button control and drop it in this form design this button control change the style of the button and text text is insert this button control will be used to perform insert operation using a stored processor in sql okay now back color of this button yes change the four color I mean font color yes now this is looking nice resize this button control resize the windows form and add a data grid view control to display result after performing include operation yes resize this data grid view too okay now my form design is ready it's done Now go to the button click event. In this button click event, I will write code to perform insert operation. Okay. Now go to the SQL Server. Start SQL Server Management Studio. Yes, it's uh, started. Now server name catalog have an SBI. Login SA. Password is SQL Server password. Yes, it's connected. Now as for the database, add a new database. Right click a new database. Database name click on new database name database name is test sv underscore db just click on ok yes the database is created you can see in the object explorer expand the table there is no table yet now i'm gonna create new table click on table okay column name first column is employee id emp id database integer EMP underscore name database nbarker 50 and third column is CD CD is nbarker 50 okay and then age age is nbarker no age is number type so for plot and then sex sex is also nbarker it's no need 50 it's 20 is enough i mean it will allow less than or equal to 20 character contact and worker 50 is enough okay now joining date if your contact if you use multiple contact numbers so you should uh, put and worker more than 50 i mean 100 or 200 okay joining date date time i said primary key in emp id column okay now MPID name CTS joining date and contact all the column I added MPID MP name CTS sex contact joining date okay sex joining date and contact okay now it's okay save this table name the table table name is employee EMP test underscore tab click on okay replace the table folder yes the table is added now i'm gonna insert some records in this table emp test underscore tab now the ta table is empty put a single record record is a 101001 mp name john city new york s25 6 mail and joining date 1st january 2021 contact okay the one record is inserted successfully okay now expand the program variability expand the stored procedure now i'm gonna creating stored procedure to perform crude operation okay new stored procedure these are the default text remove this text now i'm gonna creating stored procedure so procedure name is create pros insert emp underscore sp now i'm gonna declaring parameter parameter is parameters are emp id emp name cd is sex joining date and contact emp id is integer so inter integer then emp name emp name is n barker so n barker then cd at the rate of cd 
CD is also Enverker. Just copy the Enverker. Oh, it's showing an error. Remove the space. Yes, now it's solved. Okay. CD Enverker 50 and then age as is plot uh, number type so as is plot what having the database table then joining date joining date is date time and then contact contact is and worker 50 okay as begin end now i'm gonna write sql command insert into emp test underscore tab And then database column name EMP ID, EMP name CD is oh I'm missing a parameters sex and worker 20 okay so is then sex then joining date and then contact okay and values values are emp id emp name what parameter i declared cd age then sex joining date and contact put comma yes now select and execute this stored procedure yes commands completed successfully now let's test the stored procedure just exec insert emp underscore s with the stored procedure name and then put parameters parameters are emp id emp name cd as sex joining date as for the database table column so that's on uh, records is 1002 name ronnie then cd cd is india age is 28 sex is mel you should put uh, single quotation uh, to insert uh, insert in the enverker type column okay mail and then joining date 2nd february 2020 and then finally contact contact is also enverker so we just put single quotation okay now select and execute yes one row is affected i mean this records is inserted successfully let's test the records in the database table yes the records is inserted successfully you can see in the database table okay now copy this stored procedure and first to create a new stored procedure this stored procedure will be uh, used to get uh, all the records from the table emp test tab okay remove this parameter the stored procedure name is list emp underscore sp change the sql command sql command is just select star from emp test underscore tab so change it with select star from emp test underscore tab okay now just select this stored procedure and execute yes command completed successfully okay now let's test this stored procedure so exec stored procedure name is list emp underscore sp just copy and paste select this exec list emp underscore sp execute yes you can see the records in the database table is displaying in the uh, in this stored procedure okay now first of all connect visual studio with sql to connect visual studio with sql write sql connection so SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection okay to use SQL connection you should add namespace using system to data dot SQL client okay namespace is added now go to the server explorer and right click on the data connection click on add connection 
select your server name my server name is catalog hyphen spr or you can write your server name authentication sql server authentication username sa password sql server password select the database yes database name is test sp underscore db okay it's connected now expand the database expand the table this is the table emp test underscore tab and these are the stored procedure insert emp underscore sp and list emp underscore sp now go to the property of this database and select the connection string copy and paste in the double quotation of sql connection okay now open the connection con dot open to far from insert update delete operation should open the connection okay now scale command scale command c equal to new scale command scale command is just go to the sql server and just uh, copy this mr procedure name with exec exec insert emp underscore sp this is uh, stored procedure name and now parameter to foot parameter first of all i'm gonna declaring some variables my variables are emp id name city sx joining date contact this is emp city at combo box uh, items cities are new york then india uk click on ok yes the city is added combo box item is added this is joining date and contact okay now declare variable integer emp id integer emp id equal to this is the integer type so integer emp id equal to integer dot first text box one dot text emp id is text box one okay now emp name from text box to say so that then cd cd is also a string type so a string cd equal to convox one dot text then contact contact is a string type contact is text box four dot text and then age age is load so double age equal to text box three dot text you should convert it to double so double dot first text box three dot text and then sex sex is string sex sex equal to default is blank the as it's a string so you can declare it in, in first string okay sex equal to blank if ready button one dot checked equal to true i mean if you select ready button one sex radio button then sex equal to mel else i mean if you don't select ready button one then sex variable will be a female sex equal to female okay put semicolon yes okay now it's done now i'm gonna put parameter to foot parameters uh, to foot variables uh, you should put single quotation double quotation and plus sign then variables yes single quotation double quotation plus sign then emp id variables now copy this variable with syntax and paste this one for emp name second parameters is emp name in the stored procedure okay then third parameter for cd set fourth parameter is age sex joining date and contact okay so now copy and paste this one for cd is sex joining date and contact okay remove comma yes now it's okay just change the variable as parameters okay emp name then cd and 
you can see the parameter emp id emp name cd then age then at the rate of sex also parameter sex must maintain the sequence of the parameter of stored procedure then joining date oh i forget to declare joining date variable so declare joining date variable this is date time type so date time joining date equal to date time dot parse date time figure one dot text my date time figure id is date time figure one okay so put joining date yes and then contact yes contact okay now it's done initialize the connection string comma then con okay connection string is initialized now see that message box dot show successfully inserted after execution successfully it will display the message message box dot show successfully inserted now add a method this method I will use to load all the records from the SQL database table to Windows from application grid view from the stored procedure list emp underscore sp so so SQL command is exact list emp underscore sp okay it's done now SQL data adapter SQL data adapter SD equal to new SQL data adapter C C is SQL command C okay now data table DT equal to new data table then SD dot fill DT finally I load the DT in grid view. So data grid view one dot data source equal to DT. Data grid view one dot data source equal to DT. Okay, now call this method in the button click event. Get EMP list. Okay. Now in the form load event also, call this method in the form load event. Yes, semicolon. Okay, it's done. Now start debugging be patient okay oh login failed for user sa let's check the connection string okay go to the connection string user id sa password for your sql server original password yes and then debug again Yes. Now I'm gonna insert one more record. There are two records available in the DD grid view and SQL Server database. So this record uh, will be 1003 EMP name Christina Employee CD New York Employee Age 23 Sex Female and joining date contact. Click on insert yes successfully inserted is displaying the masses but it's uh, not displaying in the data grid view instantly so list emp underscore sp let's check oh it's not displaying why everything is okay it's not inserted successfully in the it's not inserted in the database table so let's check the code oh sorry sorry i did i forget to write code c dot execute non query you must uh, for c dot execute non query execute non query used to far from insert of the delete operation okay now debug again and insert third records 103 employee name Christina 
city new york is 23 female joining date and contact click on insert yes successfully inserted and the records also displaying in the data will be instantly okay now go to the form design and uh, copy the button control paste the, yes this button control i'll use to far from update operation using stored procedure so button text is update go to the click event yes okay now first of all go to the sql server and copy the insert stored procedure because insert and update there is a little different in insert and update code okay change the stored procedure name the stored procedure name is update emp underscore sp and parameters are same just change the sql command sql command is update emp test underscore tab then set set emp name equal to at the rate of parameter emp name and all the column will be updated based on emp id okay cd equal to at the rate of cd age equal to at the rate of age and sex equal to at the rate of sex joining date equal to joining date is database table column name and at the rate of joining date is parameters contact equal to at the rate of contact and then add higher clause higher emp underscore id equal to at the rate of emp id okay it will update all the column based on emp id then int okay and begin update statement and then int okay now select and execute yes commands completed successfully okay now go to the visual studio and uh, copy the insert button code in button one code because all the parameters and commands also a little bit same so everything is same just change the uh, sql command change in sql command replace the store procedure yes update mp underscore sp is added this is the store procedure name update emp underscore sp now just copy the update emp underscore sp and paste yes this is the store procedure and uh, all the parameters are also same and change the masses message was dot show successfully updated it will display the masses successfully updated okay now debug yes now i'm gonna update uh, 1002 records name ronnie to ron and india to uk 28 to 20 sex male to sex male okay and let's just change the date of birth okay contact yes now just click on update yes successfully updated you can see around it to run and india to uk records change the column change based on emp id okay uh, this button control i will use to perform update delete operation so button text is delete go to the click event yes here i'll write code to perform delete operation okay now go to the sql server and create a stored procedure just copy the update stored procedure and paste this one for far from in delete operation 
so change the procedure name create force delete emp underscore sp and i need only one parameters uh, only one parameter parameter is emp id and change the sql command delete emp test underscore tab then where just at higher close where emp underscore id equal to at the rate of emp id just select and execute yes commands completed successfully replace this folder yes delete emp underscore sp is added in the server explorer now just copy the update code and paste yes now remove all the variables i need only single variable emp id okay and store procedure name is delete emp underscore sp and parameter there uh, there is only one parameter emp id so emp id and remove other parameter okay c dot execute non query message box it will display the message and then change the message message box dot show successfully deleted and this is the method get emp list it will display the result instantly in the direct grid view debug yes these are the existing records now i'm gonna delete the record 7003 just click on delete yes successfully deleted and the result was also deleted from the direct grid view okay now delete is confidential if you delete a record you cannot get back this record so i uh, should add a confirm message so now i'm gonna adding a confirm message if you want to delete it will display the confirm message before performing delete operation so just write if message box dot show this is the message message is uh, are you sure to delete it will display the message are you sure to delete and the message name is the uh, delete document then caption caption is message box buttons dot yes no it will display the two button in the message box yes no if you click yes i mean dialog dialog result dot yes if you click yes then it will execute this code if you click no it will execute nothing debug again okay now 102 click on delete you can see it's the message are you sure to delete no it's not deleted if you click yes in the dialog result it will this delete and you can see the records also deleted from the daily grid view okay see that in 101 are you sure to delete no it's not deleted yes so now go to the design and add one more button control this button control i will use to get result in the daily grid view get a specific result in the daily grid view based on emp id okay button text is load emp yes go to the button click event yes now i'm gonna copy this method Let's copy this stored procedure and this is the procedure I will use to load specific record, specific employee. So the procedure name is load emp underscore sp. Then SQL statement is select a star from emp underscore test step via the emp id equal to emp id. Okay. The stored procedure is created and executed successfully. I replace the stored procedure folder in the server explorer yes load emp is added now just copy this code yes parameter uh, one parameter emp id and this uh, code used to load specific employee based on employee id now the procedure name is load emp underscore sp yes load emp underscore sp and parameter one parameter c dot 
no need to open connection because this is just a select statement and no need to execute non query and message also delete the method too now all right sql data adapter sql data adapter ht equal to new sql data adapter c c is sql command and then data table dt equal to new data table sd dot fill dt finally i will load this dt in the data grid view so data grid view one dot data choose equal to dt okay debug again yes it's debugging now i'm gonna insert some records 1002 employee name christina i'm just inserting some records to display you uh, how to start a specific record how to load a specific record in data grid view so 1002 emp id christina is inserted successfully and now if i load emp i just click load emp then, uh, with the 1001 it's displaying 1001 john if i for 100 2 it will display the second uh, employee id 2 now i'm gonna inserting uh, third record 103 employee name trump employee city new york is 50 sex mail and contact click on insert oh the connection was not closed the connection's current state is open okay so you should close the connection in every button click event so that this is con con dot open but connection is not closed yet so just put con dot close yes it's done now copy and paste it in the button to for update and delete delete button yes now debug okay now i'm gonna inserting 103 record 102 okay it's working fine and displaying only 102 record now 103 employee name tom city new york is 28 mal contact okay click on insert yes inserted successfully and now 102 load emp it's displaying only second record 102 christina okay if you update it's updated all the column based on emp id employee id if you want to delete you can delete these records yes successfully deleted uh, emp id 102 thanks for watching this tutorial